Firescape Engineers, inspect the summary video. We're here on 90 Day Street, Jersey City, New Jersey. Seven story building. All painted steel fire escape. Original hardware. Uh, fire escape should be kept painted and maintained. This fire escape has not been kept painted, has not been kept maintained. I do see minimal evidence of uh, maintenance. Somebody came, welded, did some illegal repairs. They uh, welded, illegally welded all of this lead paint. This fire escapes before 1978, so it is presumed to have lead paint. This system cannot be, has to be made mechanical. I'll take you down. Well, uh, I just photoed my way up. Should be clear of obstructions and debris. That's obstructing a little bit, hanging out. That could be pulled back. We'll get some debris. I cannot certify this fire escape at this time. So this is going to be definitely, this is a pass feel report. And this is definitely feeling, it's feeling for paint. It's feeling for, uh, I'd say structural integrity with all the rust jacking and all these connections. Somebody's come and done some repairs. These are the repairs I was telling you about. Which, these ain't too bad, but uh, they, they put new bolts, I believe through bolted. I'll try to get a shot, see what's going on inside the building. Yeah, so yeah, I got a plate there, a little underrated for this, but uh, five A's, through bolts, welded. But now out here they're welded to the structure, which is all suspect now. You can see all the rust on that. Well, it's rust from the inside out, usually. How's that looking? So I don't even feel safe being on this fire escape. Original hardware. We got heavy paint failure everywhere, lead paint. This thing hasn't seen paint in, I'd say, 15, 20. These repairs, all legal. It's gonna be all mechanical. All the minor, the minor structural is having serious issues. I'll give you some shots from underneath of these treads that are all original hardware. But up at the top there, we've got heavy delamination causing rust jacking in between the connections. We've got doors feeding this fire escape, obviously blocked. And I'm not sure if this is a temp door though. I'm not sure what's going on there. So continuing down to the ground, I'll try to keep my hand movements slow and not jerky, but it's a little cold. So you'll forgive me, I'm shivering. Trying to get, show you some of these huge gussets here, massive, but you're actually pretty tight. These ones. It's probably what's keeping this thing up. We got heavy corrosion again, all the minor structural paint failure throughout this whole system. This is actually a, a cantilever system. When I get to the bottom, you're going to see that. You'll see, I thought I could give you, yeah. You can see that steer there with the platform. That's that's a cantilever actually, and they're using that to do their work right now. So just I'm gonna continue down. Got, that looks suspect there. Looks like it's already broken. Possibly, yeah. Uh, someone home a little repair. That's this is all broken. They they must have put this on recently. Let's see that. It's all Mickey Mouse. So that's some of the original tiebacks on the other side as well. I don't see any any repairs on this side. It looks like they just chose to do the other side. Beef that up. All oh, the railings are gone. All the treads suspect. All the paint is failed. So at this time, this fire escape is a fail. This is a pass fail test. Inspector the Cisco joining you here too also? I don't Cisco. Uh, they, uh, it's, note, it's, it's important to note that workers are using this fire escape. I just was going, I was talking about that. Yeah. And until the fire escape is deemed safe, something could happen. I'll continue down with you. Do you want, do you want to pick it up from here? I just sure. vi I just photoed up, I videoed down to here. I, I mentioned the lead paint. I rush mentioned jacking happening everywhere. Rush jacking, major. 
paint failure throughout the system. You can tell that somebody came in here and did the wrong thing. First take off is a improper the repair. reverse clip is a re an improper repair by welding because the rust is still in there. That's illegal today? With yeah. The well, it's, the rust is still in there and what's happening is the rust already ate the steel. So this uh, is a... I just meant the welding itself. Yeah, no welding allowed because it's got lead-based paint. I see they uh, actually did through bolts. Yeah. yeah. They reinforced all the connections there. Yeah. I checked the through bolts on the inside walls. We got some blocked doors upstairs. Of course. Yep. I mean, we've got some connections. Heavy. There's corrosion at the top of that gusset. Yeah. Major. Major corrosion. All the structural. Yeah. Looking up, some of the platforms are ready to drop on the inside because you can see the major corrosion. Heavy jacked. Some it, of it, it is jacked. To what, a quarter to three eighths, oh, half yeah. inch. Yep. Oh yeah. Look at that. That gusset plate. That's all popped off. Yeah. The gusset's all popped. Delamination causing the jacking. Heavy, cor yeah. heavy corrosion throughout this whole thing. As we make our way down. The water is accumulating on top and feeding it. It stays wet quite often, quite a long time. We got a he heavy water down below, yeah. like six inches. There needs to be a continuation on that roof of a metal, a metal fire escape or a metal catwalk, unless that's a uh, cement roof or fire rated. But these connections are pretty bad. There's definite evidence of maintenance with uh, welding guys only. Nothing, no, nothing as a repair at the industry standard. If you can zoom in up that cord, you can see the whole blown up C channel up there. Yeah, I got good pictures of that on the way up. Perfect. Yep. She's. Uh, if this is one of three systems, and so far the first system had it in life safety. The second system I looked at had life safety, and this system you have some life safety issues on this one also. Uh, nothing life safety yet. Nothing, nothing has fallen. Nothing's but fallen, but something's ready. For example, I would probably categorize this as close to life safety because that's not even connected anymore on that platform up there. If you come to this side over I, here and I zoom see. in, you see it? Yeah. I, did they? I think they did a little repair above it. They tried to pick it up with a clip above. Yeah. Crazy. All right, let's continue going down. So the. The plates they use for their through bolts are like 316s. So the gussets are all still jacking. You definitely see jacking on the, on the clips. Yeah. This is all jacked also. This is a great little shot right here. Look at all that jacked in there. This is jacked. The rails are all jacking in here. Yeah, heavy delamination going on. Yeah. Trying to keep the shaking down. It's a little cold. But they definitely should not be using this to do any work. So coming to... Bolts bolts, all original hardware, no evidence of any maintenance other than improper welding repair. We got quite a bit of water standing here. Look at this. Yeah. This is all rust jacking happening uh, here. Took all the snow off. Yeah. And you can see where it's rusting and all these footings, so original all hardware. This is a repair where a weld was brought in to temporarily shore it up. You can definitely see missing bolts on that tread. Yeah, popped, gone. I got popped, shots gone, coming yeah. up. So there's some life safety. And the, the repairs are inconsistent. They stop. Right. They stop halfway up. Yeah. They only went as far as they wanted to go. Is that what it is? Seems like it. I'm okay. not sure what was going on. So normally, if this is a cement roof, and it could be fire rated, then, but minimally, you need some railings on this. Catwalk. To guide people this way should be an elevated catwalk so that the snow passes through. So let's go down. This is a cantilevered system. Not balanced. No release arm. No release arm. They got it weighted at the bottom with a cinder block or yeah, a so curb stone. Well, we know that it's not. There's a life safety concern here because look at this. It's from above. If you go up to above and look down on this. Look at it pulling off the wall there. Yeah, she's done. She's no longer attached. So this is a life safety concern right here. That this cantilever is ready to rip out of this building. This is gone. This one's gone. In a state of collapse. Gone. She's in a state of collapse on this portion here. So let's get off of this thing. As soon as possible. They should scaffold this because the amount of work associated with the, this activity is going to be a lot longer than uh, some of the things needed on this fire escape. All these treads, jack. So this cantilever is going to be the main source of the firemen. So the whole the whole system of this jacked and the bolts are missing. So she's ready to fall, ready to drop. 
and like you said, he's not, he's not in good order. Look at all the bolts that are missing here. The weight box, the big heavy, big heavy pan. Yeah, and it's full of cement and plants. That's Look, it? Yeah. They growing things now? It's got grass growing in it. All right, let's walk quickly underneath. Finish our shot from the inside. So right now, this is part of the egress, which is all, all right, blocked. So any, any usage of this to go into the into that is going to be dangerous because right now, the most dangerous part is probably down right here at the bottom, but the rest of it is uh, suspect. Suspect. We'll put a tag on this one. See if there's any other concerns. But this fire escape here should not be used for any activity until it's fully serviced. In the meantime, I would probably use scaffolding to help service this building. Any questions? Fire escape engineers, inspect the summary video. 866-649-0333. This fire escape does have some life safety concerns. Does not pass as left paint.